Marstrand, an island immersed in the Swedish landscapes that Ingrid Bergman so cherished. It's in the southwestern region, not far from Gothenburg, that Hitchcock's muse spent her summers. The Strandverke Gallery has devoted an exhibition to the late icon who would have turned 100 this year. Musica talked to its curator. I met her a few times in her later years in New York and I was very impressed by her. She was a fantastic personality. She was presidential in a way. You don't touch, you don't hug, you don't kiss. She kept her distance but she was very impressive as a, as a human being. Her mother died when she was two years old, her father died when she was 12, and um, she actually didn't have a family from the age of 13. And so I think security was a very important part of her life, and I think also it seems that uh, for her it was most important to work and to be the best, and try the very, very best throughout her career. So. Uh, work came first. So in that sense, she was uh, maybe a feminist in the way that uh, she wanted to do it her own way. She was very dedicated to, to her work and maybe family and the rest was second to her work. She was very beautiful, a stunning beauty and she was very natural. That was a little shocking to Hollywood, you know, where they made up people, you know, they fix their teeth, they, they uh, fix their noses. And she came there saying, I don't want to wear makeup, I want to be as natural as possible. And, and, and that's what she did. So a lot of people, you know, fell in love with her.